Hey, welcome to today's video. In this video, let's take a look at how we can easily create custom pipes in Blender. So to do this, I'm gonna select my box. I'm gonna press tab, go into the edit mode. Next, I'm gonna press M on my keyboard and I'm gonna choose something called at center. That's gonna get rid of the box or hide it. Next, let's just jump into our top view by pressing Z. Very nice, so from the top view, I can control the path of my pipes maybe a little bit better. Next, I'm gonna jump into the verts mode. I'm going to click on the inside of my point. I'm going to press E, and now I can start creating a custom path for my pipe. Just for this exercise, let's just do something really simple. Drag out a dot, press E to continue, and just create something that uh, you would like to have as your own custom path. Let's say I'm happy with this. Next, I'm gonna press A to select all the verts. Now I'm gonna right click on my path and I'm gonna find something called bevel verts. You can see the shortcut for that is shift control B. So let's try that instead. I'm gonna do shift control B. You can see a little black line appears. As I begin to drag this line around, you can see that it's actually adding additional points to all the sharp corners on my path. If I scroll my middle mouse button up and down, I can control the number of points that's being added. So let's just do something like this. Once you're done and you're happy with your spacing and the amount of verts you have, just simply click, press tab key, and now we need to convert this path into a curve. To do this, I'm gonna go to object, go to convert, and then click on curve. Now we have successfully created a curve. Next, let's just make sure our curve is still selected and let's jump into the data section. In here, I'm gonna open up geometry, find something called bevel, and in the depth, let's just dial this up to figure out the thickness of the pipe that we like. Once you're happy with the thickness, the final step is just simply right-clicking and setting the shade to smooth. All right, so that's how easy it is to create your own custom pipes in Blender. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video.